just want you to know. I started this video outside. I'm not recording in the mic right now. Like that's, it's it's just a prop. I'm recording through here. I tried to set up outside, purely, for his entertainment. I brought a microphone and a laptop and everything outside because this boy wanted to go in the pool. Yeah, wag your tail, wag your tail. My laptop is burning. Do you see this? I, I don't even know if you can because I can't see either. I put a sheet of my laptop to try and stop it from burning, but like, it's heating up. I'm burning, I'm sweltering. Why are you crying at me? What, what more do you want from me? Do you see the effort I've put in so you could play in the pool? At least jump around and show them that you actually enjoy being in there. Do something at least. Thank you. All right, now that I have come to my senses and I've actually brought everything inside, it's time to start the video. Didn't fix the auto brightness though. So hello and welcome to this week's video. I am Genevieve if you are new here and if you are not, welcome back. It's been a pretty exciting week for me because something arrived in the mail that I've been waiting for for as long as I can remember. Well, it hasn't been in the mail that long, but like, you know what I mean. I got a drawing tablet. Shouldn't probably throw it, it's very expensive. <laughs> I was gonna do like a full like unboxing video and thing like that, but you know, sometimes things are just better to be enjoyed by yourself. So I got the cute little Apple pencil thing. Uh, Again, very expensive. Apple, why? Also, yeah, I guess I should probably actually start with uh, what I bought and why. Don't worry, this will be very quick. Very quick. I'm not very good at explanations anyway. So I did settle on the iPad Air. A, because 90% of their stuff was out of stock. <laughs> but B, I did go for an Apple over any sort of Android or Windows product. And literally the only reason why was because out of all my research, I managed to narrow it down to an iPad with Procreate or a Windows tablet and Photoshop because those were the two programs that had the most research on them and the most like other people using them. So it'd be easy to get tips and tricks and things like that. And what really narrowed it down is I could go for a cheaper tablet, but then Photoshop is $40 a month. And I was kind of like, am I gonna be using it that much? Like what if I set it down for a little bit and I have a little bit of a break and I'm still paying this 40 bucks a month, eventually it's gonna equate to the price of a tablet anyway ipad tablet so i did decide to go for the ipad tablet it is a lot more expensive but at the end of the day procreate is only a 17 dollars app and if i do set it down for a bit and don't touch it i'm not like reoccurring stacking costs and things like that which was a really good like option for me obviously if you're going to be drawing every single day for every single whatever and you're going to be making income off of your drawing i'd probably go for photoshop but for me personally we went for the ipad which i'm telling you is a little bit of a learning difficulty because i am not an ipad person but can i tell you my favorite part it's engraved <laughs> my tablet's also engraved but it's in this case obviously and lucky for me i managed to buy it at just the right time because they actually threw in a free pair of apple i apple ipods <laughs> airpods the, the little headphone doodads, yeah, those things. I got them for free and they're also engraved. <laughs> anyway, tech aside, the actual video concept we are here to see today. So I've only had this tablet a week into practice. I started designing emotes for Twitch. I drew a couple of my friends and it's been a very good learning process so far. Very easy to navigate. And so I wanted to give myself a bit of a challenge because what more does a learner need than learning an entirely new software than learning how to animate? <laughs> So I have a lot of friends at the moment that are actually studying animation so they were able to help me out with learning the initial like how to do layers and about like smudge scenes and so I was like you know what I think I can do this I'm an artsy person I'm a quick learner what's the worst that could happen <laughs> and that is exactly what we're gonna find out today and what I chose to animate was one of my most popular twitch clips because content makes content makes content makes content you know so I guess we can quit the blabbing and we can get into the more visual process and don't worry this isn't gonna be like last week I actually have all the footage <laughs> Yes. You know, this video was delayed because you wanted to be in the pool. You have your own emote on Twitch. Oh. Wait, 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 don't move. Wait, don't move. Oh, why do I look naked? Wait. <laughs> So first I had to actually decide which clip I was going to be using and the reason why I chose this one is because it is A, one of the most popular clips on my channel and B, I've never felt so much pain <laughs> while playing a game. Um, but it's also the best freestyle skills I've ever had in my life and probably will ever have again. So uh, just enjoy the clip. I'm a flying fish but I don't know how to control my wings and I'm running out of breath. Do 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 do
Lights are fading. Do -do 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 -do. And now I'm dead. So now that we've figured out which clip we are actually going to be animating, obviously I had to figure out kind of like a storyboard of how I wanted this clip to be because I wasn't just going to animate what you already see because there's no point doing that you know i wanted to make it fun different so here you can just see me drawing out the different scenes i'm not adding too much detail in yet because i just want to get the spatial awareness and marking for how i want my story to go and how it's going to flow before actually putting too much detail in it because if i end up changing it later it's kind of a waste one of the biggest challenges was obviously learning how to deselect all my layers as you see here this was me having everything selected and i couldn't really figure out how to just get the previous frame beforehand but i managed to kind of make it work and like I just ended up deselecting all my layers basically which probably isn't the way to do it but you know what if it ain't broke don't fix actually no you should probably definitely learn how to do it properly if you want to do this like for real but you know what it worked for me in the time being once i had my full storyboard marked out i was able to go in and start adding in the details so what i also did was once i had a specific frame then i just duplicated it as many times as i needed to make up time so it matched the audio also, I forgot to mention, like, obviously I'm brand new to animating, but the kind of style I was going for was, like, OG Game Grumps. Mark Zuckerberg! <laughs> It's just a really easy style for someone who's new to animation because it's really nice and simple without looking unfinished. Don't get me wrong though, even though I say simple, it still took me a very long time to animate this. And now we are finally on to the color. So first step was just changing the background layer to a teal color just because I thought it'd be easier than trying to fill it in every single layer. Then come the difficult part because obviously I still wanted my black lines to show up over everything. So I had to add a layer, reference the lines, fill the color, and then any sort of shading or anything went onto a new layer. If you do animating and that is the wrong way to do it, I am so sorry, but this was the only way I could figure out how to do everything properly without going over the lines. Sometimes I actually did go over the lines, but because I had duplicated layers anyway, I was able to put my lines back on top. You know, live and learn, make mistakes and all that. But I have a newfound respect for people who do animation because this is an 18 second clip and it took me forever. <laughs> But after all that time, energy, and effort, I actually managed to come out the other side with a relatively decent clip. So without further ado, enjoy. I'm a flying fish, but I don't know how to control my wings, and I'm running out of breath. Do 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 do. I'm suffocating. Do 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 do. Lights are fading. Do 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 do. And now I'm dead.